All right, welcome back. You made it to round five. So in the previous rounds, we focused on the straight punches. We had the jab and the straight right. We focused on the hooks, the left hook, and the right hook. In this round, we're going to focus on the uppercuts. What is the uppercut? This is the uppercut. That's the right uppercut. This is the left uppercut. It's almost like the hooks. Remember the hooks, how we came over here, 90 degree angle with our elbows, went to the side, came from the other side, 90 degree angle on my elbow. Exact same thing, except for guess what? We're scooping it towards ourselves. Palm facing your own face. Just like so. But just before, like every other instruction, we have to make sure our feet are in the right position. But this is gonna be a lot more simple. Why? Because it's the exact same thing that you learned when we did the hooks. So pay very close attention to my feet. Starting off when I'm throwing my left uppercut, I'm gonna plant my right foot all the way flat down, nice and flat. And when I'm doing this, I'm gonna pivot my left foot, get that good uppercut right here towards the center. I don't want to punch off to the side. You never want to punch off to the side. Why hit the ref and your opponent? We don't want to hit the ref and then hit your opponent. Just hit your opponent right in front of you. Always want to have your center focus point. So now I'm going to focus on my right uppercut. I'm going to plant my left foot all the way flat down and I'm going to pivot my right foot scooping underneath. Let me show you from this angle right here. So I'm going to show you the left uppercut. One point. I'm going to show you the right uppercut one point and notice how my chin stays tucked underneath you always want to protect yourself at all times no matter what so without further ado let me introduce my lovely assistant nicole one more time come on down girl all right nicole so what i'm gonna have nicole do right now is demonstrate and dip how to throw the proper uppercut i'm gonna have her shoot down with the heels down come all the way through like she's pulling something towards herself let me get you right here Go ahead, show them, and I want to just line up everything. Give me that good left uppercut. Wonderful, do it and hold it. Notice the good pivot in the front, just like we have it when it comes to the hooks. The knee is probably bent, her knee did not go straight. This is wonderful. The hip could be thrust a little bit more, but that's still a good position right there. Look at the 90 degree angle inside of the hands and the elbow. Everything's lined up perfectly for that perfect structure. That's what we need on a natural basis. All right, show them what the right uppercut looks like. There we go, do one more and hold it. Wonderful, once again, we got this pivot right here. Everything's lined up correctly. She's on the balls of her feet, knees 90 degree angle, perfect bend, hips are in the proper position, and look at the elbow. Line straight up 90 degrees. I'm gonna take this in just a tiny bit, just to make sure we, the smaller details, once again, make the biggest results. Here. From here can make the difference between you hitting the bowl ball in the correct position. We want to make sure that you train for perfection. All right, so let's take this and use it on the bowl ball. Now I want you to take your time. Keep the ball still. When you're first learning how to use the bowl ball, when you're first learning how to do anything, especially learning the uppercuts, a very tough punch to learn, you want to take your time and build your way in. So when she's going to come to the bowl ball, I just want you to tap it and then catch it. Let it go still. Hit it and let it go still, then we'll go with the right. Go ahead, please. There we go. Take your time with it. One more and follow through with it this next time. There we go. We see what happened when she followed through? Wonderful. Now let's get with the right. Nice. That was a beautiful up and down one. Go ahead. Two. Oh, yeah. Get them. One more time. One more time. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, because this is more tricky, I'm gonna take more of the advanced state. So she did the um, uh, the mediocre version and everything like that. When you wanna start as a beginner, you wanna take yourself step by step. Now, I'm gonna get you right over here. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do it in a little bit more of an advanced version. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the boat ball move from side to side. See how I'm focused on the boat ball. My precision and accuracy has to be on point more than ever. This is even harder than hitting it with the hook. You have to be on time, perfect at every time that you throw your hand. So I'm gonna let it go. Notice how it's going different direction. Time it. I got my left uppercut. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the right uppercut. Let it go through. I'm gonna time it. Oh, see, gotta have that timing. Coming with that right uppercut. Let it come through. With that right uppercut, time it. Right there, that is the proper way to take it up in a whole nother notch when it comes to doing the uppercut. I'll see you in the fight zone, round five, get ready for them uppercuts.